Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create a animated film grain effect for your website using Webflow. And this sample shows it takes an average image and applying the film grain effect, it gives you that uh, much cooler, much emotional and uh, just more beautiful aesthetics, which I personally love uh, for me. And uh, as I flip through more examples, uh, as you can see, it's uh, exactly that. It's much more emotional and it just looks cooler. This example I'm showing is for a uh, plugin for your editing software like Premiere, but we could do it for free for our websites. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go over to this GitHub page uh, created by Sarath Salim, and it's a grained um, JavaScript that he graciously uh, provided for the public consumption. And uh, you want to go to the code tab and download the zip file to your desktop somewhere and uh, look for the file called grained.min.js. And that's the file that you want to upload to your server and which I already did here. It's in my server, uh, green.min.js, for me to reference in Webflow. So uh, the next thing we want to do is go over to Webflow. Yeah, so let's start putting together uh, this effect. So first thing, uh, Command-E, shortcut, and look for the div container. And I want to make this, um, just got to give it a class uh, hero and let's make the height 100 vh and width uh, 100 v width of 100% your choice flex box center align center justify center and uh, next thing we want to do is um, put in the background image here, image gradient. Yeah, choose image. And I already uploaded my image. And let's do choose, oh, sorry, uh, cover and center. Do not tile. And uh, that should do it for that. And let's actually add a little gradient uh, on top of the image. Here, uh, let's just pick. This might look cool. Let's make that like 40%. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe 20, 10. Yeah, 10 looks good. And then the other side, let's pick more like purplish kind of a color. Oh, that's feeling good. Let's reduce that to about, uh, I guess, 40 looks pretty good. Mm, yeah, okay, 40 looks good. All right, so now let's throw in a headline in there. Uh, again, uh, Command E, just to a headline. There. Okay, I already chose the font to uh, Bebas, and you could choose whatever you like in your design. And for the, the width, uh, actually, let's call this um, animated film green effect. And let's make that, see, hmm, eight looks okay. Make that 0 0.7 EM instead. Okay, that looks okay. Now, um, let's apply the, the JavaScript. So what you would do is go to a, another GitHub page that I created for you to grab my custom script. And uh, I will drop a link down below as well where you could grab it. And once you come to my uh, GitHub page, uh, copy the code and come back to the Webflow environment Open up the page tab, open up the page, uh, the code area, 
and before the body tag, paste in the code. And uh, as I mentioned before, you should have uh, uploaded your um, the JavaScript file from uh, Sarath Salim's uh, GitHub page. And once you upload to your server, you want to reference your path here. And my path is this. I already prepared a little bit, so I don't have to memorize that. It's a long path. Okay, so once I put that in there, so this is pretty much ready to go. And um, these are the settings that I thought it looks the best. And you could play around with the settings, you know, the pattern width, and you could see uh, what it does. And oh, you want to create the uh, div ID name for that container, which I have uh, yet to do. So I'll do that right now. Let's save that code and go back to the hero and Let's create a ID for it. Uh, let's call it um, maybe green filter, I guess. Yeah. Let's copy that. Go back to the the custom code area and replace the ID name to the green filter name that you that I just created. And you could name this however you like. So I save it and let's publish this. Okay, let me have a look. Cool, it's working. Uh, you may not be able to see this, but let me zoom in as you can see, so that you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, it's very subtle. What's cool about it is that it's subtle that uh, it's not in your face. And when the user comes to your website, Something about it, they will notice something's, I don't want to say off, but something's uh, flickering there. And um, it's a very subtle, cool effect. And it has the that film grain uh, effect sample that I shown you in the beginning of this video. And uh, it combines with, um, in, in a web page experience, so, which is kind of uh, interesting to me. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll, you'll like it. Uh, you could try it if you like. And I, I will also um, maybe put in a video to show uh, what that would do with this effect, okay? Let me do that right now. So uh, again, um, let's add in a uh, video, yeah, background video. Actually, it should be underneath the heading. And let's give it a BG video class. Oops. Okay. And let's give, uh, let's make this uh, position absolute. Let's fill. pH let's put in the video upload it uh, I believe I put it um, here okay so it's being uploaded now I'm going to uh, hide the background static image okay and make sure my hero uh, container is selected and shut the eyeball off for the time being for the static image. And as you can see, the, the video is in place now. Um, I would have to now publish it. Okay, now Let's have a look. Refresh. Voila. So it gives it that uh, kind of a cool 8mm video-like quality, which I really, really personally like. So let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, the animated film green, which gives it even more uh, artistic flair, uh, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I hope you liked this video. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.